peace, love, and prosperity to all my beautiful reflection watching this video. And understand, we got another message from your boy Divine Messenger. Because, uh, of course, I'm here with another message. And understand, before we get into this, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. You already know what you got to do. Here's a current sub count right here. We are still growing. This is really crazy. I really appreciate all you guys for watching my videos. Also, watch my back. You know, whoever's in this woods might pop out, might get crazy. But a lot of people, they stare at you because you look appealing and you sound appealing to their ego. And what I mean by this is you got to understand that a lot of times people that look at you, they love what they're looking at. They like seeing you and like being around you because look at who you are. A lot of times we don't begin to understand that on our journey, we are elevating into who we are. We are elevating into a higher element and a higher elevation within our mind or within our life. And if you think about it, if you look good, you're going to feel good. If you feel good, you're going to look good. So if you feel good on the inside, what do you think the outside will portray to you? The outside will portray a good looking reflection and a good looking projection in your mind. I don't know what the hell that was, but a good looking outcome into your mind and into your reality. Once you understand that, you got to be ready for what comes with it. Because once you start feeling good, when you start protecting yourself, once you start elevating your mind, body, soul, and spirit, this is when you'll be up. You'll be able to think like, you know what? I can accomplish anything. I can make anything look good, even if it looks bad. Because what is looking good and what is looking bad? So a lot of times we gotta understand that our mind is very powerful. And when people are looking at us and when they're listening to how we speak they love what they're looking at and they love what they're hearing so that's why a lot of times people want to ask you questions they'll be like hey how do you do this hey what do you do with this hey um when do you work and do this and that but like, they'll just come with random conversations just to talk to you because they want to know what you think about this and they'll come to you for advice and they'll come to you just to vent because they know that you're your projection upon their insecurities in their life, you have a great outcome on your words. You have a way with words. The way you speak and the way you articulate your words is pleasing to these people, which is why it is okay for people to come around you. We got to use discernment because a lot of times people don't know themselves. And so for them to find themselves, they're going to find themselves within you. And they'll be leeching onto you and your energy. Once you don't understand that, they'll be taking your energy really from like really low key, but they won't tell you about it because they don't want you to leave them and know what they're doing behind your back. So a lot of times we gotta understand that we have to be careful with who we are allowing within our energetic field and our auric field because we are spiritual beings. So once you understand that we're all sharing the same energy, but you have to keep it at a distance and to keep it at a boundary. Because if you don't keep boundaries within yourself, then a lot of times people won't keep boundaries with you. So you gotta lay down the law and lay down the line of what you want and what you're doing in front of you. So when people are coming near you, you should like tell them like, what do you want? What are you talking to me for? What do you need to express? Like, what do you like? What is it? What's on your mind? Once you understand that, then you'll be able to choose how you want to go about this decision. Because a lot of times people will tell you what's on their mind and their choices. But understand, you can choose what you want to do. You can walk away from the situation, or you can choose to get give them some help or some feedback, or you can give them some help and say, I don't know, or etc. I don't feel like talking today. This and that, and then boom. You can go ahead and go about your business but a lot of times when you're growing on your senior retention journey understand many people will look at you because of who you are and who and what's crazy they'll keep seeing you they'll keep looking at you especially if you live in a gray area like a suburban area or in a city etc right like a suburbs if you think about this in your subdivision there are people who see you around so like you while you're shopping you're going to the barber shop you're going to the mall you're just driving people will look at you like as you're driving in your car right you'll be driving Boom, you'll be driving. Somebody can pull it right next to you. They'll be like. And what's crazy, you you just paying attention, you were focused, you got a tunnel vision. So you're looking at your life. And it's just like you can look at them right, right on the window. And they'll be like, hey, I just want to tell you, you look good today. I like your car. I like the way you did this and that. Hey, where are you going? Hey, can I get your number? People will do that shit because your spirit is growing, your aura is growing. And somehow, some way, their spirit told them to look to the left, look to the right, so that they can notice you. And then on top of that, if you look good and then you sound good to them, oh, you making them melt. Literally, like you are a growing blossoming blooming beautiful entity in a human body so once you understand that people are like will literally fall for you so you can go to the store right and let's say you're going to the store and you're scanning your items but oh hold on uh, item doesn't have a barcode and somebody be like hey do you need any help yeah this item doesn't have a barcode in it okay hey um i'll watch your things for you. you can go ahead and get it next thing you know you know just from my experience but i went to go get some pineapples and i came back one of the people that worked at Publix, they put my items in the bag and i was like you didn't even have to do that 
that because truth be told, I want to do it by myself. But of course, if you want to put my items in the bag for me, I ain't going to complain. I fuck with that. But you see, this same thing can happen to you as well. So like, let's say some bucks fall out your car or some items drop out of your car. A man or a woman may be like, hey, let me help you with that. Put it right in your hand, put it in the car. And they didn't even have to do that. But they felt like they were obligated to do that. And why? Because it's something about you that they can't comprehend. And you're so pleasing to their eyes. It's just like, you know what? I got to help them because I feel like their life is more important than mine. You can't make this shit up, boy. Like, you can't. You can't make this shit up. This is how people will treat you once you are elevating yourself and you're staying focused and you're giving your life to God or Elohim, the divine creator, Yeshua, whatever you want to call our God or call yourself. Understand that we are the reflection of everything. So once you are projecting a great reflection upon your mind, people will see the projection that you feel about yourself. Once you understand that, people will start gravitating towards your pull because you are literally pulling people into your attraction. But what's crazy, all you're doing is attracting great energy. Now, of course, you're going to have negative energy as well, but people don't care about that shit. They don't care about what type of energy that you have if it's negative because they understand they're gonna love you for you they're gonna like you for you they're going to want to be around you for you a lot of times people will let you talk because they love to hear what you have to say they love to hear what you have on your mind because your mind is ele your mind is on an elevated journey that they can't even comprehend so they want to learn from you people will look up to you and understand like damn i want to be just like them but the thing is though you are literally just like me i am just like you i am you you are me so who are we if you are me you know what i'm saying Think about that shit. If we are the same reflection, people shouldn't be jealous of their own reflection. You just have to better yourself and you have to love yourself and get in tune with God and who you are. You gotta, you gotta tap into a higher frequency by harnessing your energy and transferring it into Kundalini energy. And as it, as it rises to your crown chakra, you're gonna be able to understand all these shits are in line with the universe. You are literally traveling portals within your mind and you're literally pulling algorithms into your mind into your consciousness and into your soul into your spirit once you understand that you can accomplish anything in the world and people will understand that you are beyond a human being so what are you i am that i am i am that i am once you understand that you are that you are, you, you can do anything that you are capable of. And of course, you're going to have good intent with what you do because you can do anything that you accomplish. But once you are able to do any, anything that you can accomplish, you have to use discernment and you have to be humble with your gifts. Once you start noticing how people will be attracted to your looks and your physical, now you have to start taking care of people and taking care of yourself because understand, there are people who will use you because you look good. There are people who will use you because you sound good. There are people who want to make money off of you. There are people who want to use you for their own gain and their own benefit this is why you have to understand that if you don't love yourself if you don't have self-love then nobody else can love you as well so once you begin to love yourself you won't care about nothing else because nothing else matters people's people's insecurities and people's jealousy and envy placed upon you doesn't even fucking matter it's just hate but what's crazy even if they still hate you they love you my nigga because look at who you are to all my queens and all my kings out there look at who you are they have to stare at you they have to listen to your words because look at who you are look at what you radiate to this world you are the most beautiful thing walking in this world. So understand that whenever you get down on yourself, whenever you feel like you're ugly, whenever you feel like you're too big, whenever you feel like you can't accomplish shit, stop letting your mind play tricks on you. That's what the devil, that's what these arcing subconscious entities are doing to your mind. Don't believe these programs. Understand that you have to elevate your mind past a negative program. And what's crazy, your thoughts are valid. You understand, it's good. That shit scared the hell out of me. But understand though, you gotta stay focused on what you're doing and when it comes to the people that you're bringing into your life. Because a eager beaver could be the collapse of a dam. I love you. Have a great day.